Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy, and today I have very exciting news, at least for me. Uh, hopefully you guys would agree, but we're going to cover a video game topic on this episode, and that's kind of the fun of Seek and Destroy, and that's what I used to do when we did the show way back when, like five years ago, was that every episode could be something different, as long as it was art or entertainment, I usually talked about it or covered it, uh, especially things that interested me and excited me a lot, and this is definitely one of them. Today, July 1st, Alan Wake Publishing Rights Acquired by Developer Remedy. So Alan Wake is one of my all-time favorite video games. It is in my top five video games of all time. Uh, it combines a lot of things I love from a storytelling uh, standpoint, but also the visuals are just gorgeous, uh, especially for the generation of consoles it was on, which was Xbox 360. It was an exclusive to Xbox 360. Um, it came out the year of my brain aneurysm, and it was one of the first games I played, um, you know, to kind of... Uh, reintroduce myself to the world it was like that and then a couple months later it was like halo um reach i believe and uh and so those were like the early games of kind of my bounce back into the world and they were great ones because they brought up all these emotions and alan wake was really really cool because at the time i didn't i probably would have remembered pre-aneurysm that it was referencing twin peaks and uh, twilight zone but those memories didn't come back to me until later so while i was playing it it was just like an all-new experience to me and then as i you know my, you know, as my brain healed and my body healed and stuff, I started to remember Twin Peaks. I started to remember things like Twilight Zone and how much I loved them uh, growing up, especially Twin Peaks. That was even for, you know, like a 10 year old kid, I was very interested in that show. And then I revisit, I, I didn't understand a lot of it. And then I revisited it later when I was, you know, an adult in my 20s, uh, when I lived in Florida and, you know, fell in love with it again uh, for completely different reasons, um, as I appreciated David Lynch's work a lot more. And Alan Wake is this like big love letter to like, like Stephen King and uh, Dean Koontz and uh, kind of all the things that Silent Hill is in a lot of ways, but telling a completely different story. And I don't know, it makes sense to me. A lot of people were confused by like American Nightmare and some of the add-ons that came out for Alan Wake, um, like the writer and the signal and all that. And they, they thought it didn't clear up the story. I felt like it did. And, uh, and I was, I really loved it. If you haven't seen my playthrough of it from a couple years ago, I'll put a link to it down below and maybe we'll update it and we'll play another one. Cause it looks like we might get Alan Wake again. And this time on other consoles, uh, because now that, uh, remedy who, you know, they made the game with Microsoft and Microsoft did nothing with the publishing rights. They didn't make more Alan Wake games. They didn't hire remedy to do more stuff. And for whatever reason, I don't know why they didn't. I thought it was like a, just an endless pool of, uh, you know, source material that you could pull from and tell really great stories, uh, even if you didn't focus on Alan, maybe, you know, doing a side story or something like that, and uh, or just doing another DLC like American Nightmare, uh, you know, on a lower budget and stuff, and they, they never pursued it. So because of that, thank goodness they didn't, because now the rights revert back to Remedy, who were the creators of the game, and uh, that's so exciting for me. And so, you know, they have a new game coming out called Control, which I'm very excited about. I tried to track it down on E3, but unfortunately I couldn't, you know, find it anywhere. Um, I guess it was for press only to play the, to the demo, play their demo, but... Um, I really tried to find where they were and uh, and get my hands on that demo so I could talk to you guys about it. So uh, yeah, it was one of my biggest regrets of E3 was that I you know I'm trying to build myself up to get a press badge so maybe next year I could do stuff like that for you guys. Um, so seeing this news is fantastic and the right rights going back to Remedy is also great. And at first you know you're thinking okay the rights revert back. A couple years ago, someone said like, all right, but you guys own the rights, but it's, you know, but then they said, yeah, but it's not quite as simple as that. Like when you own the rights to something, but you share it with another company, uh, you know, it's hard to re-release it or it's hard to do a new version of it or add DLC to it or whatever, unless you go through that company like Microsoft. So since Microsoft did nothing with it, the IP now solely belongs to Remedy. And there is a strong cult following for this game. It is so fantastic. I think it's really rich, like I said, of uh, storytelling at, at, you know, at its core, uh, but it has a great character. It has great characters. Every side character, it's one of those situations where I don't dislike a single character and everything really works really well. Like they really put a lot of thought into the story, but yet the visuals and the design and everything of the game are so fantastic. So uh, yeah, so at first you're, you know, this is from IGN. I'll put a link down below. Matt Perslow's, uh, you know, article here. Uh, but uh, I also want to touch on another article, which is uh, this one here. Let's pull this up. And uh, let me fix my screen. Here we go. So I guess this was taken some, from another source, uh, Journey to the Savage Planet. No, that's all Alan Wake stuff. <laughs> um, oh, wait, I got to go back. The PlayStation bras. Um, so this is by Thomas Williams. 
Alan Wake publisher writes, revert to Remedy, multi-platform release teased. So again, we don't know for sure when or if this is going to happen. Uh, obviously, they're focusing on control right now and getting control out there and release this year, um, which is great. I'm so excited for control. But to know that maybe next year we could get Alan Wake on the PS4, uh, maybe like a, you know, a new updated version of it, maybe a new DLC for it as well, like soon after, um, anything like that. If they just did another story like American Nightmare and, and just kind of you know told something small and intimate, that wrapped up the story even that I would be okay with anything Alan Wake I will take in any form I love the little series they did the Bright Falls live action series that led into uh you know Alan Wake um I love that too it, that's fantastic and I also think I have that up on my gaming channel in its entirety so you can watch all that I'll put a link again to my playlist down below where you can watch the Bright Falls episodes and the you know the entire streams and that's a non-monetized channel so uh so you know watch it as many times as you want and make sure you give you know uh you know remedy and all that stuff their love and the credit that they deserve for that um because i think that show is only available on the xbox so you could probably download it uh, the alan wake show if you want it's called uh, bright falls but yeah then here it says speaking with Eurogamer, it was teased that alan could journey to new consoles the only thing we want to clarify is now that remedy owns the publishing rights is that we could bring alan wake to different platforms if we choose so yeah that's all they said you know, obviously their focus, it's always one game at a time, especially when you're a studio like Remedy and you put a lot of work into something, they're trying to work out any last minute bugs, anything they can do to fix, you know, any problems in control, which from what I hear, there's not too many of them. Uh, and they're buttoning it up really well. And it's going to come out on August 27th. And you can, you better believe I'm going to do a playthrough of this game. I cannot wait for control. I'm so excited. I didn't miss quantum uh, break. I was really upset by that, but luckily the game was never spoiled for me. So I'm going to look for it on sale at some point and we'll do an uh, a, a quantum break playthrough as well because uh, that one also kind of mixed you know live action with video game and, and stuff like that and so I'm, I'm interested in that anything that remedy does i'm interested in but for some reason quantum break just kind of slipped through the cracks for me and i never got a hold of it and uh and but control i'm not letting get away from me so we're going to play control when it comes out and then we're going to play you know quantum break and hopefully in next year i would love to see an announcement where they bring alan wake back maybe just re-release all the content that was there before uh sorry as i'm I, I talk and i swing my hands and i just hit my dog tags on my car so uh yeah sorry about that noise um those weren't wind chimes or nothing it was just the dog tags clanging together um but uh yeah so i'm excited for for, for you know more of this universe and if they re-release everything and they just put on the ps4 and the switch or whatever consoles they want to bring it to uh that would be fantastic if they want to do like a mobile game i don't care if they want to do a, an an added American Nightmare DLC uh, to wrap up the story. Uh, you know, I don't care. Even though I feel like the story does have a pretty good ending, it feels like it has a nice happy ending at the end of American Nightmare. Uh, but if they want to flesh it out more and go further into it, because I heard the original idea was to do an Alan Wake 2, but you play as Alan Wake's wife searching for Alan Wake. And that would be really interesting to me too. So whatever it is, I can't wait. I hope they do it. And I hope they do it quickly, uh, you know, but also, you know, get control out there first. And then afterwards, I would love to see more Alan Wake stuff. So if you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. And if you've never seen this game, never played it or anything, please watch my playthroughs. Uh, they're a lot of fun. I completely, you know, dissect the entire game. I point out every reference. Um, I mention all the music. I know the whole soundtrack by heart. Um, there's I, I, there's not a detail in that game, uh, very few details in that game I don't know about. And I talk about all the things I do know about in our playthrough. So again, link down below, check it out for yourself and let me know what you think. And let me know what you think of this information if you are an Alan Wake fan. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.